fixed your width and attach, squeeze it together, and fasten it to the fixture with the self drilling screws that are provided with the retrofit kit. Make sure you're at the end of the fixture. Side of the conversion kit. Again, spacing is important. You want this straight to the end, and then you can, because you want your lens center, make the necessary adjustments to properly align the lens. Finally, you'll need to, for completing the install of the kit, you'll need to attach your center plate. So now again, the yellows are common to each center portion with the reds going one way and the blues going the other way. You will need to find the center of your fixture channel. To do that, it's a 96 inch fixture channel. You'll need to either, some fixtures will have a mark that will indicate center. If not, it's just a simple matter of a pencil and a tape measure to mark that spacing properly. Next, you'll want to be sure you're the wires are clear and attach, again, telescope out the socket plate to fit the channel width that you're dealing with and attach the plate using the self drill screws. Again, we provide for the kits. center mark and bring the plate in on one side again on the other side make sure that it's in the center if you want and the time you should well center your plate The lamps are, are running square, again, got the wires out of the way, and perform the same for the other side. Needless to say, you don't have to measure at this point, but just put the plate on, butt it up to the other plate, and squeeze it together, and in the same manner. Side of the plate. Make sure your lamps are spaced accordingly. Again, dress your wires so that there's no interference putting on the ballast cover. Finally, you'll need to connect the black and white power feeds. There is a recommended ballast disconnect for any voltages greater than 347. So in those cases, we want to uh, be higher than 150 volts to ground, you need a CSA certified and recommended ballast disconnect. They're color coded for the black and the white, so there's no confusion on which wires go where. Be sure that you put the black wire under the black connection, quick connect point, and the white under the white, and attach your disconnect together. And again, you need to dress your wires up and have them out of the way so nothing gets pinched. And 
you have the socket plates and socket track housing. The next step is to attach the new valve covers to the socket plates. The socket plates have pre Pre, pre hole for a quarter turn fastening mechanism. And I like to uh, be sure that I don't get fingerprints all over this stuff. So when I'm putting it in, I leave a little bit of the film peeled back so that I don't get mess it up. And then when you're done, your installation. And free of prints and marks on the covers. This cover is designed to work as well as the socket plate and kit to work on any fixture housing between four and five inches. Industry standard is typically in that range. There may be some cases where come across something unique and different, and in those cases, uh, call Jaftec and we'll, we'll sort out what you need. Once you've done that, you need to install your valve cover. Start on the other side. And using your files or your fingers, if you can get away with it, attach the Turn fasteners and peel the film off of your cover. Now be sure when you're peeling the film to draw it across the cover as opposed to pulling down so it doesn't distort the shape of the cover. The next thing you'll want to do is put on the opposite hand in the same manner. Again, be sure all your wires are dressed in nicely so you don't interfere with the wire. Attach the cover on each end with these quarter turn fasteners and draw the film away. And there you have a complete installation. All you need to do now is install your T8 clamp. they're chaired into the sockets properly. You need to turn them 90 degrees and you'll feel the lamp go into the holders properly. And there's also tabs on the bottom face of the lamp to indicate proper fit. Be sure your lamps are secured and the kits installed correctly. There you have it. It's a big retrofit. All that's left is to turn on the power.